Hey guys, this is my first review. It's on the Kobe Kairos MID8127. Comes with 4 gigs of memory. It comes with this wonderful, wonderful, as you can see I'm being sarcastic, case, which sucks. Um, and we have the device. This is very good for $212 shipped overnight. Um, go ahead and turn it on. Okay, I've got the pattern unlock screen. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, <clears throat> I've got, probably can't see it, I have Facebook, Pandora, Snaps Market, which isn't the original market. The original market is called Get Jar, and I think there's another one, but I can't remember the name of it already. Hmm, what's it called? What's it called? I know there's another one. I know there's another one. <coughs> Maybe GetJar is the only one. But anyways, I've got Snaps Market. I have App Planet Market, which are both <coughs> black markets. I don't pay for anything. I hate paying for any kind of apps. It's kind of stupid to me to pay for anything. You got the gallery, the camera, email. I got YouTube, the one that isn't supposed to be on here. But you can get that through the black markets. Or if you know how to use a computer, you can just put it on your micro SD and transport it. I've got music, get jar settings. <clears throat> I have drag racing, angry birds. I have the browser and the book reader. Don't know how to say that, so I'm not going to embarrass myself. And I have pretty much most of the same ones, Angry Birds, APK Installer, App Planet. App Planet and App Planet Snaps Market do not come on this device. You will have to put them on there yourself. I have Facebook. <clears throat> the eMusic app, I wouldn't even use it because it's, if you know how to get free music anyways, it's worthless and you have to put in a credit card number. I have Pandora, which I was listening to, but I turned it off, so I didn't get any stupid copyright things. TV.com, which I haven't really used it yet. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people whine about Kobe Kairos. Um, it's a cheap device. Like, really, this was $212 shipped to my door. And I'm not complaining about anything. The capacitive touchscreen is extremely responsive when I do it right. <laughs> there we go. I hate looking stupid. But yeah, when I use it right, it works perfect. <clears throat> um, so you can scroll the screens easily. Oh, well, another reason this isn't working very well is I still have the uh, plastic that it came shipped in to protect the screen a little more. <clears throat> the camera isn't great. <clears throat> I think it's only 0.2 megapixels or some crap. Then down here you have the micro SD, the reset button. That's just to take it apart, this little thing. You have the power in, some DC 5 volts. You have the mini USB, the headphone, and I think that's mini HDMI, but I'm not sure. It might be just regular. You guys have the volume rocker, which some of them don't have. The A127 has that. You have the standby button. Go ahead and unlock it again. Up top, you have a very small mic hole. On the back, you have two stereo speakers. Of course, the serial number, which I'm not going to show you. Um, four gigabytes. <clears throat> now I'm going to show you the great, great things that came with this. First, we have the case that I think they stole from the dollar store. Then we have the USB adapter that can be used to plug in a keyboard, a mouse, or a flash drive. Um, you can only use up to 4 gigabytes, which is kind of annoying. Because if you could use bigger, I could probably plug in my external hard drive. And then you have the charger. 
This is really annoying. They have to use this stupid little 5 volt. Uh, I'm not sure what this thing's called. <coughs> connector. Why can't they just use a micro USB or a mini USB like every other company does to charge it? And then you have the mini USB to plug it into your computer. And the reason I'm irritated that they don't use regular connectors like every other company is because I could use my new Trent IMP500 to charge this device. But no, they have to be annoying little pricks and make it stupid little their little connector. I don't know what the hell it's called. I was looking at it earlier. But I'm going to buy an adapter off of Amazon anyways. Um, trying to think of what else I can say about this thing. I just got it about six hours ago. Mm, oh, <clears throat> here's the package of goodies, the warranty, the screen cleaner, the registration card, and then you have the great annual. Oh, that's such helpful. <clears throat> oh, yeah, let me go pick the headphones up that I threw. <clears throat> These, these are class A stereo headphones. Oh yes, they are high quality. <laughs> Not really. Literally, about five seconds after plugging them into the device, one of the speakers stopped working. I wouldn't give those to my five-year-old nephew. That's like a disgrace. A decent pair of headphones that I bought for ten dollars are these Skull Candy. I think they're called Ink Series or something. Ten dollars. They're really decent headphones for the price. And they're like noise canceling. These things, you can hear somebody whispering across the room. It's like the amplify sound. But anyways, that would be my review on the Kobe Kairos MID8127. Once again, this is my first review, so it's probably not very good. Thank you.